Hey guys, Omni here. We are back with episode five of season three of Cobra Kai. This one is titled Miyagi Do. Uh, last episode, we saw Kumiko and Daniel reunited as he returns to on, on Okinawa to try to find some sense of direction um, and stumbles across an old friend who has just exactly what he needed to hear. Um, letters from Miyagi that he had never read. Obviously, they weren't for him, but hearing Miyagi talk about how Daniel was his guiding light in his, uh, and since meeting him, that he, had, he was lost until meeting Daniel. Um, because Daniel always looked to him to be his beacon, but it was also the other way around for Miyagi, and I thought that was beautiful. Um, Priest manipulating everything as much as he can. Uh, and now has set his targets on Robbie to get at Johnny. And we'll see how that turns out. Um, and then the growing, ridiculous tension in the school between Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai is weighing down on Samantha so hard that she's starting to lash out. Frustration is everywhere in the group the fight and the so the soccer fight i forgot to mention that last episode was hilarious and awesome um but yeah chosen showed up at the end of last episode i'm curious to see what will happen from there forward so let's go ahead and dive into episode five here we go god <laughs> they, they escalated so fast at the end of this movie man it's not tournament it's for real Drum technique. Live or die, man. I love that moment. Uh, I only tried to kill you both once. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. God I damn. Ten, you'd be alone. I'm sorry, my mom gets free physical therapy from work. You're wasting your time, old man. The last thing I need is another sensei. All that Miyagi Do mumbo jumbo, that might score you points in a tournament. But now you're in the real world, kid. You might want to learn to strike first. Get, get out of here, Chris. Get out. Good. Again, we have to be ready to fight. Oh, uh, she's going too hard the wrong way. Whoa! Now. Is that the brother? So what part of no more karate did you not understand? Very disappointed in you. Go wait in the car, Anthony. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with you. No, you, you don't. And if you really think that karate is the problem, then you have not been paying attention. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> so you're married, kids? No wife, no kids. Oh, okay. I'm going to get myself another drink. Would you I like one? No, no, I'll get no. it. No! I will get to... Okay. Thanks. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Why is he even here? I called him. You called him? Did you forget about that time we fought to the death? That guy tried to kill me. And you? Chosen has changed. People like him don't change. Okay, trust me. This is his Didn't biggest you fault. You have lots to talk about. Daniel san ni machio and I should what I must have. Mm. I'll see you later. Well, are you sure you don't want to stick to me? <laughs> Great. <laughs> What's this? This is a collection of the tastiest babes of 1988. It's the year I was born. Try harder than that. You know I can just find these pictures on my phone, right? It's not the same. Chicks are hotter on the page. Come on. Damn. 
You could dangle a new PlayStation in front of me, I still wouldn't be able to stand up. I mean, it'd be a miracle for him to get his hands on a new PlayStation at this point. Wow. Now this is the Okinawa I remember. Guess not all of Tommy Village so beautiful. is a shopping mall, huh? Mr. Miyagi taught me everything he knew. So you know everything, huh? Well, I'm not... Uh. <laughs> this way. Where are we going now? Still at a, a grumpy fuck. <laughs> That's for sure. Sato's dojo. Wait a minute. This is a dojo. This is Kree technique. This is Miyagi Do. Your sensei's father taught my uncle. Sato taught me. Good. This is not for you. Why not? We're basically karate cousins, right? Mm -hmm. You are a foreigner. You hey, Mr. Miyagi treated me like a son, not a foreigner. He wouldn't keep any secrets from me. Are you sure about that? Well, let us find out. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! Cut away! Sam, sorry I haven't been in touch. Just having a hard time. Whoops. Aww. Ah. Didn't lose anything important. Hey, buddy! Hey, Bryce Lynch. What do you guys want? We'll spend our hard-earned tickets, of course. This is getting so out of hand. Do you think it's gonna fall for that? No, but I knew you'd be too busy calling like bullshit to know what I was really into. Hey, what's that? Light a fire under you. Yeah. <laughs> tell your brain to tell your legs to get their asses moving. Oh my God. And I. Uh, Oh my god. <laughs> you just don't want to show me the scroll. <laughs> yes. <laughs> god, what the hell? Didn't seem like self defense to me. Defense takes on many forms. The Miyagi ancestors fought Japanese invaders. The only way to survive was to kill. The Miyagi instructors came up with special techniques designed to kill their enemies. Mr. Miyagi never told me about any of this. Maybe he thought you were not ready. Or maybe he didn't believe in that anymore. Maybe Mr. Miyagi was just trying to protect me. Sometimes you have no choice but to kill. I have waited a long time for this. <laughs> oh, you should have seen your face. <laughs> what technique was that? Secret of Miyagi pressure points. If an enemy insists on war, take away their ability to wage it. Can you teach me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, huh. Oh, nice. That was some nice improv right there. Good God, yes. So. Where are you, bitch? Show yourself, Larusso. Oh. 
What the fuck, man? We saw some gl glimmer of light in Hawk. After our fight, I felt great shame. I wanted to die. But <laughs> my uncle saved me. But uh, regret is sometimes difficult to overcome. I forgive you. It means a great deal. Only every rivalry can end like this. <laughs> Nothing. It's a different situation. You know, I'm meeting Kumago before my. Yeah, family. less you serious than <laughs> one person who tried to kill you. You keep for your connection. <laughs> oh, nice try. Come back when he's 21. He'll be dead by then. He's got a bucket list. Getting past that door is number one on it. Go ahead. Hey, good luck, kid. That's D. Snyder, most badass rocker ever. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Can I get a copy of that? Check your Facebook. I don't have Facebook anymore. I threw my phone away. That was on your computer too, right? Yeah. Get they're dragging out that friend request. I'm fucking sweating. <laughs> I'm a friend of yours? A friend of ours. It's been a long time since we met. Uh, it was a Is that the one he saved? The kid he saved? Same here. Wait, sales. Maybe not for much longer. Sales, help him. Who do you work for? Doyona? Fuck! Yes! <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> I should hope so, Daniel son. I'm about to save your business. Oh, shit. Oh. God, this episode got me weeping. You're a feisty one. But I like that. I like it. Yes. I'm shutting you down if it's the last thing I do. Oh! A little turned on there. <laughs> Facebook, 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 Facebook. Friend request. Friend request. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, man. I'm sad that we're leaving Okinawa already. Those were some of the best episodes of the series, man. The lesson from Chosen. I like how we get a little more uh, of history on Miyagi-Do a little bit more. I was worried about them taking it down a, a more aggressive and violent route and what that would mean, but it makes sense. Like, in extreme circumstances, one has to adapt. But they still did it in a defensive kind of way, especially once he, you know, the whole pressure point thing. It was like, listen, if somebody's coming after you to make war, you take away their ability to make war. I love it. I love seeing Chosen change, and I want that to instill in Daniel. And like he was like, well, the, our rivalry was different than Johnny's. Yeah, the one that is being nice to you right now tried to murder you. Johnny just beat you up about stealing his girl and is a little bit of a dick he didn't try to kill you and the woman you were dating at the time a little bit more extreme and you're okay with chosen but still struggling with johnny come on that whole dynamic though like the miyagi do um the passing of the information the union between 
Chosen and them. And Kumiko again coming in with the save. Bringing back Yuno was a pleasant surprise. It's like, wait a minute. The, wait, oh, that's that's the kitty saved from the 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 storm, the typhoon. The that the very act that and it shamed Chosen too was Chosen was too afraid to go help that girl, but Daniel did. And that's what shamed him in Sato's eyes originally. Yeah, that's so good. Rami finally standing up for himself and actually by doing so earned some respect. Um, taking a cue out of Kreese's book, though. I like how, you know, I'm starting to think like Samantha was acting out in this aggressive way to kind of mask her own trauma at this point because you know, we saw her PTSD when she first came back to school in episode one. And it seems like it's more linked to Tori than anything. Because she was fine. She was confident. She was kicking ass. And then she heard Tori's voice and then it triggered everything. She wasn't able to help Dimitri and Dimitri uh, paid that price for her. Amanda's finally seeing things are not quite as cut and dry as she thinks from the outside that there's a systemic thing that Greece is doing with these kids that is pushing things in this direction. And like this beacon of hope and light that may still exist in Hawk came out just a little bit, even though he still did the act and broke Dimitri's arm. There was a glimmer of remorse there. And I hope we explore that more. Um, the D Snyder thing was a great thing to come in there and add and get positivity, uh, happiness, things like that do help promote, you know, recovery in the body. And I like that. It was like, cause one thing that was, I think holding Miguel back so much up until this point has been his negativity towards the rehab, the, and everything he's been doing, the physical therapy and not seeing results that he's so bogged down with these negative thoughts and this was a distraction. It got him to break away from that. It got him to loosen up mentally and physically. And we got some wiggle. He he moved his he moved his toe. Yeah, it's another one down. Let's uh let's keep going. So guys, what did you think of this episode? Emotional man. These last two episodes, I've been crying like a like like somebody in my family just died. <laughs> But this has all been happy tears, man. Nothing's been sad. It's crazy. Like, it's all been like, I've been, I'm, my eyes are dried out at this point. We'll see what happens next. But let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video, and I'll catch you guys in episode six. <sighs> Remember, Cobra Kai never dies. Take care, everybody.